These are the best AMD settings you should be using to get more FPS and lower input delay in any game. First up you're going to need the latest drivers as they usually support the latest games like Counter Strike 2 and have the latest optimizations. To get them just simply google AMD drivers and search, then select the first link that's amd.com. Inside here you can select your specific graphics card and after submitting you can select your operating system and boom you'll see the latest driver right there that you can go ahead and download. Moving on to the best settings, you firstly want to select gaming and select the game of your choice. Under graphics you want the Radeon anti-lag to be enabled as this reduces input delay. You want the Radeon chill to be disabled, image sharpening disabled, Radeon enhanced sync you want enabled as this can reduce both visual tearing and lag which some people like but some people do also disable it so try it out and see what works best. Anti-aliasing you want on the default one, anti-aliasing level you want on 2x, and alias and method on multi sampling and the rest of these settings I have disabled. Texture filtering, I have that on standard. Surface format optimization, I have that disabled. Tessellation mode, I'll leave that default as well with the maximum level being off. OpenGL triple buffering, I have that disabled. 10 bit pixel format disabled and GPU workload on graphics. Moving on to advanced, I've got anti aliasing on the default, anti aliasing level on 2x, anti aliasing method on multi sampling and the morphological anti aliasing disabled too. Isotropic filtering, I have that disabled. Texture filtering quality, I have that on performance to boost FPS. And surface format optimization, I have that disabled. Tessellation mode, I have that on the default. Same with one below it, I have that off. And finally, for OpenGL triple buffering, I have that on disabled. Moving on to the display settings under the options, AMD FreeSync is an option that some people do use. I myself have it disabled. Virtual super resolution, I've got that disabled too. GPU scaling, some have it disabled some have it enabled, it's just whatever is your preference if you want black box etc. Scaling mode, I'll leave this on the default and then Vera Bright, I have that on enabled. I also have the slider at the bottom on balanced. For the custom colour options inside the display tab, I've got both the custom colour and colour deficiency correction both disabled. However, if you are going to use these, I've heard these settings on screen are really good. That's colour temperature on 7k, brightness on 10, hue on 6, contrast on 105 and saturation on 142. And that right there was the best AMD settings that you should be using to get more FPS and lower input delay. If a video helped out, feel free to drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Also check out these two other helpful videos on screen right now.